Okay, today's lesson is a substitute lesson for lesson 113. Instead of scatter plots, we're going to be covering bivariate data. What? Bivariate data. And relative frequency. What? Relative frequency. Good. And two way tables. What? Two way tables. Two way tables. A two-way table. What is this called? Get ready. Two-way table. Two-way table. And it has categories. A sport utility, a sports car, a male category, and a female category. We're going to learn how to read that. So this is the question. It's a poll. If you could have a new vehicle, would you want a sport utility vehicle or a sports car? So this is a two-way frequency table. We're going to learn how to read it. So let's just look at the men. The men that were polled, 21 of them preferred the sport utility vehicle. 39 of the men preferred the sports car. So all together, out of the men that voted, you have 21 votes for sport utility, 39 there, and then it adds up to 60 votes. So that means there were 60 men that participated in the poll. Okay, I'm writing down a name for talking. Of, of our females, we had 135 that preferred sport utilities, and we had 45 that preferred sports car. So all of the female voters totaled 180 females. So for some reason, just there were more women that voted in this poll. If you take all of the men and all of the females and add them together, there were a total of 240 voters in the poll. poll. So now let's back up to over here. If I total all the people who just voted for sport utility, I had 21 male voters, 135 female voters. They all preferred sport utility, and so I got 156. If I add it going this way, 39 men preferred sports car, 45 female preferred sports car. So 84 people preferred sports car. So if you add up the sport utility pref preferers and the 84 preferers, together that adds up to the same total. So then you know if the totals match up across and vertically that you did it right. And this, this is the grand total spot right here. So, um, so this is your uh, bivariate because there's two variables and it's categorical. It's just a category of items, okay? So don't let the name scare you. But you do have to be able to answer questions about the table, and there's, these are the type of questions you're going to have to answer. Using the table, answer. What percent of males prefer sport cars? So it didn't ask anything about females, so I'm going to not look at females. This is what percent of males, here's all the males, prefer sport cars, here's a sport car. 39 preferred sport car out of a total of 60 males. So this fraction is 39 out of 60. Type it in. Let's get a percent. As soon as you've got to put your pencil up. Addison, you are super fast. What do you got? 65%. Again, she divided and then she took the decimal, moved it over twice. Perfect. So let's answer the next one. What percent of sport utility vehicles were here, just sport utility, were preferred by females? So now be careful. It's, it's asking me sport utility in females. So am I going to be using the female total or am I going to be using the sport utility total? What do you think, Aubrey? 75%. Oh, you already just got it? Yeah. Which number? Do you use this one or this one? The, the one that's the 180. And be careful. This is, this would be, this would tell me how many of the females prefer sport utility, but this is what percent of sport utility likers were female. Uh, Isn't it so the wording is careful. No. What percent of sport utility vehicles, so just sport utilities, were preferred by females as opposed to by males? <laughs> that sounds more like it. So you're, you're going to use this total. You're going to go 135 over 156. Tell me that one more time. 87. No, 87. Uh, that's rounded? Yeah. 87%. Like 86.5. Okay. And it didn't say like to what accuracy, so I think it'd be fair to run it to the nearest hole. What would be what you'd want to be careful of is if you got all of your your numbers, that they did add up to a hundred percent by the time you added them. Okay, last question. What percent of adults were female that preferred sports cars? So now we're talking of all of the adults, so male and female, we're looking for female sports cars. 
I, what number do I divide by? Do I divide by the female, the male, do I do sports car? How do I know? Michelle? You're picking 156? Okay, not quite, not quite. Hold on. Jasmine? My 240. Because you have to think of, it says of all of the adults, how many adults were there? Out of the males were 60, females 180, so there was 240 adults, so that's what we're going to divide by. So we'll go 45 divided by, Colin, what did you get? If, it, if we round it up to the nearest whole percent. Raise your hand if you agree with Colin. Uh-oh, did everyone type it in? Uh -uh. Oh, yeah. 45 agree. divided by 240? Okay, my calculator is not being smart. Hold on. Okay, when were you agree? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right. Um, any questions on how to read the table and how to, why we answered the questions the way we did on effect? It's more of a comment, but it says of adults. How did you know that they were all adults? You're right. <laughs> it could have been kids. Um, so maybe it would be better if it said people. People. Okay. All right. So the other parts you have to understand is the word relative. When it comes to these two-way tables, when they say relative frequency, you might see that on the, the right Excuse test. Me. Relative is where you compare it to one of the totals on the bottom. So this is a whole table relative frequency, meaning they took the whole total at the bottom and they, they compared everything to 240. So of the male sport utility likers, 21 of everyone, they were 9%. 39 out of the whole poll, they were 16%. So all the men made up 25% of the whole poll. So this is why it's a whole table relative frequency. So you don't have to compare it to the whole table. You can do a column relative frequency where instead of using 240, we would use the column total. You say, how many of the sport utility uh, vehicles were there? So you would divide, or percentage, you would divide everything by 156. If you were doing a column relative frequency. If you were doing a row relative frequency, maybe for the males, how many men, you would use the men's total. And then you would have your totals across. So see how that could change? But what do these decimals do? You have to be careful because this is really 9%. That's 56%. If you add them, that's 65%. Here you get your total, 35%. What do they add up to as we go across? They still, 65, 0.65 plus 0.35 adds up to 1. And that's where our 100% total question we're okay. All right. Any questions on how to do relative frequency? The key thing when I give you your homework assignment is to make sure you read the question carefully because those small little words that says, the words that say, like, of the women or of the pizza or whatever, make sure you're using the right row or the right column. I feel like based on your faces that you're like, yeah, this is pretty easy. Give us the worksheet. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, that, that's good. That's a good thing. Okay. So, um, all right, I'll get you your worksheet and get start work, started working.